bugs and snails and puppy dog tails. She's almost, almost here. She just won't come out for some reason. I need to go call her, I guess. What are you doing here? I'm picking a family for myself. I think I'm going to be together with my friend. We'll be sisters. Or maybe she can even be my mommy. And I don't have any reason to like you. You're never even home. I suppose I don't even have a home. Can you really call that place a home? I just wanted... I just wanted to show you she's not really evil at all. I wanted to take her by the hand and bring her to you. She can't just get close to you like that if she's not with me. But if she's with me, she can. Why can't she get close to me? You should go hide behind those rocks and wait. Just keep looking at me. I'll wait for her. Sort of like a lure. She'll come to the fire when she thinks I'm alone. Then you'll see I'm not making her up. Very well. Let's see, but I won't wait long. If nobody comes out in ten minutes, we're going home. I hope this is considered hiding. They sit behind the rocks. Watch me. It's probably been ten minutes now, hasn't it? Maybe not. I'll wait till 40 minutes. So 20 minutes till midnight. Six more minutes. That really does look like a crow, doesn't it? A crow's head. Okay, I'm dying of hunger again. It's been enough time. Maybe they meant... Oh! Clara. What do you want, Burrah? Why are you here? Go do your job, Tinkerer. Have you already avenged your father? Come into your inheritance? Saved everyone on the list? Visited the kin? Have you made a cure? So you're Murky's friend. Are you dense? You idiot. I'm keeping Murky from the plague. Do you understand? I'm doing it because you can't even watch over one child. I'm the one keeping her from the plague, and I have my doubts about you. I thought you were a grown man, Barach. Do you honestly come to believe the disease has a mind, a goal, some agenda? That it walks on clay legs and talks to Murky? That it'll come here to tell you something? Yes, it's already visited me before. <laughs> That's about it. And something with a will and an agenda can be bargained with, like Mistress Sandplague. That was your silly hope, was it? Yes, it was. That's what makes the plague so terrible, you fool. You can't reason with it. There's no method behind it, no mind, no negotiation. There's only death. And if it has a voice, it's yours, your own voice. Imagine your child told you a boogeyman knocks on her window at night. 
I'd rather check just in case than regret it for life. You don't believe me, you don't want to. Fine. Be my guest. Check. You want an easy answer, don't you? You want a monster you can drive a stake into or bargain with? That'd be so heroic, wouldn't it? It's so much simpler than the hard work of discovering a cure. Yeah, right. What well, could be simpler than slaying a monster? Work, Burah. Forget this child's play. Step miracles, childhood mysteries. Leave them to me. Step aside and deal in earthly matters. Go, work, deal with your damn town. You're the one who must figure out what it's made of. But who was Murky talking to? Murky talks to rocks and herbs. Murky was raised by step wolves. She's a wolf cub herself. Why would you ever take her words seriously? Kids deserve trust or bad things happen. I know from experience. God, they're so fucking creepy. This place is still marked, so it's not done. Wait, what the, what the hell? How did you? My patrons have spurned me, turned me out of their house, but they'll pay for it. Watch my hands. The right knows not what the left does. The left knows not what the right does. The forepaw doesn't follow the hind paw. The midfoot, the forefoot, the lower hand, the secret one, the upper hand, the elegant one. What are you looking at? You're a fast sprinter. I can do many things. Haven't I told you already? I have. Twice, I think. So don't complain now. God, they're so fucking creepy. Where's Murky? Walked away from here on her own two feet. Her friend came for her. When she learned who her friend was, I think she decided to flee while you were distracted. To protect you, maybe. What friend? Go, Burach. Murky is beyond your help now. You still don't get it. You think with your fists. You don't understand life or anything about this disease. How could you protect anyone ignorant as you are? Who are you? You're not Clara. It's like you've been changed. I'm the real one. She is the imposter. Okay, I'm worried for Murky now. Give Murky back, you hear me? You... Alright, let's try this. Your Murky is still on her way. I can sense her. She might get stranded after all. These things happen. Let's test you then. What do you know of the sand best? Tell me. Wait, what? Ho hold on, hold on, back up. Your Murky is still on her way. I can sense her. She might get stranded after all these things happen. I don't quite understand what that means. On her way here? But she already... What? On her way back to somewhere? She might get stranded after all. So they're threatening me that something will happen to Murky as they return home or something? Okay, so this is a test. Either people say it didn't start on its own... That there's some scheme behind it, yes. I do know not everyone dies from it. Some folk are beyond its reach. Yes. I do not know... Um, I do know not everyone dies from it. Some folks are beyond its reach. Like the Odongs. <laughs> Alright. So you're not entirely hopeless. Would you like to understand? You wanted to see Murky's friend. That I can arrange. Is this the trap that Yulia was telling me about? Hmm. Maybe coming here at all was the trap. What's that supposed to mean? If you agree to this, your Murky might live longer, and her friend will, from now on, address you directly. No middleman, no interference. What say you, O oh brave ripper? 
Agree to what? I'll be damned if I'm not curious. Deal on whatever the deal is? <laughs> but leave Murky alone and never touch her again. Whoa. What just happened? What's happening? What? Did something just happen? Was Murky always listed under blood? Katarina Sabarava is in danger. I thought I couldn't do anything with them before last time I was there. Like they need medicine? The plague has a voice. Now I'm certain of it. Can it truly have a personality, a mind, a will? So Murky's friend is the disease? What the hell? Who speaks in its voice? Who's making fun of me? And if it's alive, what does it want? To hell with it. Where's Murky? Hmm. I still don't understand what the deal was. I must have missed something. How are my stats looking? Um. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I get what the deal was now. I get to speak to it directly because now I'm infected. It's no longer an immunity bar, it's an infection bar. <laughs> uh... I don't know how to manage that. How do my drugs manage that? Can I take antibiotics? I can take antibiotics now. How do I know which ones are what I need? is wrong with Clara? What the fuck are they? How did they just give me infection? I'm deeply disturbed. Should I see if they're back at home? Murky, that is? step this night. The page is about to turn. All business you deem important needs to be finished before dawn. 7,000 people dead. You managed to grasp a crucial... Oh, I missed it. Okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. Good. Not infected. Oof. Oh my god. Anna, you're real lucky. Oh, they're infected. Peter? Peter, come on. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Not too bad. Just three people infected. That's not bad at all. And only two I really care about. I mean, even Katarina is kind of like, eh. But you know, I... I kind of care about Katarina. A bit. I just don't know them very well, but what I know of them from their reflections make me want to help them. Okay, what, what's happened? Um, to hell with it, where's Murky? That's back at home. Yeah. Ruben spends nights at home now. Oh, right, I'm supposed to go meet them. Oh my god, there's so much I'm supposed to do. Fuck.
Okay, so the kids are done at, I think it was the nutshell where they were at. They were spending time over here, so that does disappear at midnight. Oh well, probably not that important. And how am I doing on stats? I'm tired and dying of hunger. I need coffee and lots of food. Thankfully, I think I can afford it. Good amount of money, plus the pocket watch is worth over a thousand. The fund is a reward for me. Good. Well, I'm glad I can speak with Murky's friend directly. And night falls. And in that brief night, something will be irretrievably lost. I need food. Like, quickly. I guess it doesn't take any time to talk with Murky, though. Not really. I'm dying real quick, though. What? What happened? Peter... Wait, Peter? No. Andre Stamaton's in danger. Oh, is that because I just discovered that this region's infected? Okay. My home's infected. Wonderful. Should I take a tincture and just see what the heck it does with my infection? I mean, Medrol will reduce my exhaustion, so... Sure. So there's two bars. It seems like the green bar is still immunity, I think. Do you think death rolls on me every night now? Or what? Or do I just need to make sure infection doesn't reach the top? Otherwise I just die outright, or... I don't know. But I imagine infection is going to slowly go up. to use some schmouter on myself. What just got updated? Murky's not in the lair. I think there's an abandoned train car she stays in sometimes. Maybe she's there? Hmm. Yes. In the meantime, I'm dying of hunger. You know what? I'm gonna take my Yas Plus, because that reduces hunger. Very, very slightly. And um, while I'm here, my experiments should be done. Top, bottom. Potion with unknown properties. Made it from an affected heart. Oh, this, hold on. Is this different than something I've made before? This one's unknown. <laughs> Medrol antibiotic. Have I not made that before? Um, that's the top one. That's the one I made with... Infected blood and Medrol plus. Whoops. Because I forgot what the others look like. Maybe I should have wrote it down. It was kind of keeping track of it for me. Infected kidneys can be brewed into an antibiotic. Infected blood produces an antibiotic still. I thought they just said antibiotic before, but like these say medrol, or this one says medrol, this one says I don't know. Lowers. Infection fixes the nerve layer of the human body, doesn't completely heal the patient, but lowers the chance of death. For it to be named, I must have made it before? I don't know. Is there anything I want to drop off? I 
Uh, my herbs, yes. Yep, that's good. Prophylaxis? Oh, right, you're in the infected zone. Yeah, um... I'll give you a... a Zirk plus. You'll be alright, kid, don't worry. There's the train car. I really need to get food. I'm gonna go to this grocery store and just go get food right now and talk to Reuben while I'm there. I have enough time to go to Murky. Oh, now that my fixed water thing is in an infected district, is it gonna be all fucked up? Yep, yep, it's nasty water. Great. Hopefully it'll turn back into good water when the infection's gone, I don't know. Glad the grocery stores are open 24 hours. Is this one good? I can't tell. Because I'm taking damage from hunger and all sorts of stuff anyway, so... <laughs> okay, oh, bread. Let's sell the... Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. That pocket watch was worth like a thousand at the shady shop. Is jewelry worth more at the shady shop? I guess I probably shouldn't sell that here. I mean, it was worth a lot more at the shady shop, like over a thousand. Let's just buy some bread. God, that hurts to buy. And some peanuts. A fucking lemon is like... My life savings. Oh, the bread. Bread's huge, isn't it? Ha. <sighs> should I leave it there or should I buy more? Because I'm going to have to sleep at some point. I gotta have a pretty good buffer of hunger to be able to sleep without starting to take damage. Mm hmm. Lemon would help marginally with exhaustion, so. Uh, ah, nah. Alright, Reuben. That sounded like a nasty audio cue. You all right, you would have done the same. A lone teacher taking it all upon himself. It's a bit weird that I'm getting this like full view of them talking, but as it says, he's not dead, only sleeping. How are you, friend? Completely exhausted, huh? This is a little bit 
creepy. Hmm. I wonder what you've gotten yourself into, pal. Who did you dissect? You're so secretive, as though it was Simon's body. <laughs> now that would be a whole heap of trouble. I like this option. Brilliant. I've waited so long to have an honest, heartfelt conversation with you, and now this. Oh, Stah. Why must you always be so difficult? Remember that time at the Scruff when we had that fight? You said you're bound to this land, that you'd been born here and will die here, that you didn't want me to leave. That's when it all went downhill between us, wasn't it? See how it turned out? I'm back, but you seem to be leaving. Father was the only thing that kept you anchored, wasn't he? You were loyal to the land because of him. Now you're all alone. So you're running to death's embrace. Anywhere away from here. You could... stay. Father's gone, but perhaps someone could take his place in your heart. Maybe you could marry Laura. Become a father yourself. Things would turn around. It's both hilarious that I come there and they're just sleeping and I can't talk with them, but also kind of sweet that you get to talk to them as they sleep. Reuben is tired, dead tired. I can't help him with that. He'll either make it on his own or not. Please don't die of sleepiness. You got any loot, buddy? No, of course not. Yeah. Hey, has this ever been opened before? A child's room? Oh, shit. They'll know. They'll know. I'm not gonna steal from my friend while they sleep. Hmm. Um, I got a good amount of time left. I like, I really should go to Yulia sooner rather than later, because that could inform the stuff I do in the future, because they're going to warn me away from something. Alright, it's nighttime. It's dangerous to travel at night. I have low health. I'm going to take a boat. I have tons of fingernails. fingernails brach the manku or that'd be oh it wouldn't be manku would it because kh is just the h so menhu menhu brach the menhu death stands behind your back we will not carry it on our boats fuck death is everywhere these days our boats will not leave infected districts we can carry you into the plague but not out of it the air is heavy here. It drives the boat down. If we pull off, we'll sink. Why are you standing here, then? We are children of Bodo. Burrah the Manku. Menhu. Half earth, half in the earth. The plague cares not for us. What am I supposed to do now? Go back on foot. Menhu. The plague is the earth. One cannot escape it by water. Hope I can make it. Shit. Hmm. I mean, 
the nearest non-infected district, I'm assuming non-infected, I don't know, it could be infected, is so far away that I might as well just go there myself. I'm just gonna go to Murky. Maybe going to Murky is a trap. Hmm. Oh, right, things have changed. Notkin is in danger. God damn it. I just cured you, buddy. Hmm. This is considered a new day, so can I go to the shady shop and I'll have new stuff now? Did I just take damage? Does the infection occasionally hurt me? I figure while I'm here, I might as well boost their uh, resistance rate. It would really suck to be recovered from the infection and then get reinfected. Give you a medral plus. Still nothing I can give him. Check the shady shop. See if I can pawn the watch for a lot more. Man, this place looks nasty. Hey, you doing all right? Yeah, they definitely have new stuff. Cool. Oh no, it's it's not the store. It's just that today people just don't want to pay as much for a pocket watch. All right. Can's probably the best, well, canned food, but I don't want to pay that much. Man, that did not do as much as I thought it would. Let's do bad grief over here. Increase their immunity. Damn, they sell a shotgun now. 15,000. They sell candy wrappers. So I'm guessing if I had bought the candy wrappers, I could have sold them for quite a bit here, huh? Why do you like these candy wrappers, Bad Grief? I could sell a revolver ammo just for a little bit of money. A hundred, though? That's not much. I think I'll just keep it. Give you a Zerk Plus. I keep seeing like blood on my screen. Fuck. I think I might be taking damage from this slight infection. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm going to take the Metro Plus. That'll lower my exhaustion and give me more immunity. Alright. Murky. Was 
that sound? I definitely just took damage, right? Yep, I did. It has to be the infection, it couldn't be anything else. <laughs> I need Schmouter. I need... higher immunity. Zerk... non plus. will raise my thirst. That's fine. Hey, you alright? The plague bringer is here, walking around. Are you angry with me? <laughs> no, kiddo. Of course I'm not. Will you forgive me? Damn, there isn't an option to say yes. I'm not sure. I'll just stay here for a while, and then I'll come home. To our home. What is this place, Murky? Have you been living here long? Long? Always. This is, well, it's a boxcar. Broken, I guess. Useless. I used to dream that it had attached to a train while I slept, and I'd wake up and see the sea. Aren't you scared here alone? I'm not alone at all. Who's here with you, then? Guests visit sometimes. They're not my friends, no one is. But they play next to the boxcar and I watch through a crack or from the roof. I also have Mother's doll. You won't ever be alone anymore. Murky's fine. Thank heavens. Yeah. You'll oh God. Lips crack. Come. Take my kiss. Fuck. It's so much creepier the way they've designed it so that it sounds like it's coming from somewhere in the world, right? Like it's in your head, but it's not coming equally from both ears. Like it's just, like it doesn't sound like it's coming from your head. It it sounds like it's coming from somewhere specific in the world around you. It's positional. Okay. Uh. I mean, I'm looking at this line, and this looks like a line that I should just kind of like start from here. I don't know. Should I go to Vars? It's probably not worth the time to go to Vars. But I could start from like here, see the theater performance, collect the fun, go to Yulia. Maybe stop by where the town is calling me? I don't know, it's nighttime. It's a lot of districts are gonna be super dangerous. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna skip Vars. I wanna make sure I have enough time for this other stuff. Let's go to the theater. But, like, it seems to be hurting me very, very, very little. But it's still hurting. From here, just pretty much go straight. I know there's an herb back there. It's fine. I'm gonna be careful here. I'm expecting to see ne'er do wells.
almost have everything to fix that. going on <laughs> okay they died a weird way oh my god yes 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 spindle I don't know if that's worth jack shit and it's huge let's eat the apple is that worth anything Victoria Olgamskaya used to spin only for show, of course. What's there to spin when your husband slaughters bulls instead of herding sheep? True. Oh, they'll know. Oh, well, I mean, my scalpel's broken anyway, so I'm just gonna drain blood. Gotta be on the lookout for coffee person. Red thread's always good for repairing stuff. Do you like spindles? You do. Red thread for a spindle. Great deal. Oh. Your enemy, right? Hello? You... Hmm? I mean, look at them. Okay, I'm just gonna leave them then. I'm, I don't want to make a mistake and accidentally kill someone like that. Hey, wait a minute. There's a cash here. I don't suppose they're Schmouter. Modest... Modest note. Have I read this before? No, I haven't. Um, chapter 2 said, Woodpecker, you're too late. That's one thing I truly hate. Okay, put that into my notes. Let's earn some more goodwill. Put some walnuts in there. And some peanuts. Ooh, is this good water? Oh, damn. I can't believe that worked. Mark Nurchik. I'm him. Go ahead. Talk. Well, I... When it got started... All right. No use lying, is there? So, here I am, confessing. We were robbing folks. Me and Kitty Cat, stilts, knives, all them. Then we wanted to rob that big city bachelor. I see. Northern gold mines. Ten years. Alexander Sabarov? I. You've heard it all. I try to instill order. It's instrumental. And the outbreak? Outbreaks, earthquakes, the last judgment. It doesn't matter. Discipline must be maintained. People turn into animals. They need to be reined in. My wife... My sympathies for your wife. Last question. Heads or tails? Heads. Always heads. I expected nothing else. Still, you're free to leave. Andre Goffman? I'm his sister, Anna. He didn't wait for questioning. Shot himself. You won't punish the rest of us, will you? Noted. Next. Victoria Orgimskaya, 16. Or is it 15?
dead items store. Up there. Hmm. I should have taken the dead items with me. But I think I have some. One broken ampule, one bloody bandage. Yeah, that's a pittance, but it's something. Let's go up to where the fund is. Town Hall. You are an enemy, right? What the f- Creeping me out. Ooh, straight razor. That's really important. How's my knife doing? Yeah, still decent. At this point, I could still repair it with uh, just a grindstone. You're the lockpick person. That's a very good lockpick. I got 10. Do I want more morphine? More revolver ammo? Sure. I'll just take the revolver ammo just as something I could trade with and it doesn't take much inventory space. Infected district. Well, let's go to the dead item shop, huh? Oh, God. Ah, fellow traveler. Look what I have here. Curious thing. What's so curious about a common belt? Made from cow leather. Rather old. Passed on for three or four generations before it got to me. Worn down with a notched buckle. So many additional holes made in it. Guess the owner was starving. So many children set straight with this belt. Parental authorities unbroken. They have a special way of educating kids. Cruel but efficient, don't you think? Father never hit me. Here, look at this crack. It wasn't his fault. It was the cat. But the parental response was to teach a lesson. He could have tricked them, sure, but the parent would have got him by the collar anyway. That face... So distant, so indignant. I love such faces. They're funny. You truly are a master of your work, rag and bone man. What is that? Army ration? Why would you have that? What will they take? Oh, they take blood. Hmm. Well, broken ampule, obviously. Bloody bandage. Oh, man. Six for a bloody bandage? That's really good. What else is worth trading? I don't think the blood. No. I think just these two things. Can I get anything with these two things? God, I want this army ration. The army ration actually isn't that expensive. I'll trade a couple other things for it. I don't know, I got a lot of fingernails. Oh, fishing hooks. Yeah. Also, this description is the most depressing thing ever. For the army ration. Filling. Soldiers take these to the front so that their death comes from a bullet rather than starvation. General Block never wanted to come to this town, but it's a soldier's duty to follow orders, isn't it? 
I'm guessing this is kind of spoiling that the army is coming to town today. How much is this going to restore? Really good amount. Really good. Oh, hey, broken ampule. Oh, God. I mean, what am I going to trade for it, though? Yeah. Oh, shit. My gloves just broke. I'm just wondering if it's worth trying to... Whoop. I wonder if it's worth trying to trade for another army ration with, like, a bunch of blood and stuff. Uh, eh, let's go. Mostly I try to ignore it because it's creepy as hell, but I should probably actually listen to what it's saying. What just happened? Oh, it updated because I took my fund. Took my fund, next payment is no sooner than tomorrow. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna eat the fresh fish. I don't think that's gonna be a waste, no? My hunger is almost completely gone. How often does that happen? And I have food left over, what the hell? is the making of kindred. Okay. Well, on that note, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're gonna go talk to Yulia about the trap that's apparently waiting for me. <laughs>